Now, before we minimize this, we're going to have to write it down in matrix notation. So the way we did that for ordinary least squares was by writing down y minus x theta transpose multiplied by y minus x theta. x is your design matrix, y is a corresponding column vector of y's, and theta is a column vector of the thetas. Here we're also going to introduce a diagonal matrix w to account for this term, the sum. And then we're going to go through the usual steps. So we want to find partial j over partial theta and then equate that to zero. And this should be fairly easy to accomplish if you remember this matrix calc identity that we've covered maybe four videos ago or something when we were differentiating vectors, I mean scalars, with respect to vectors. So here u is going to be y minus x theta. Our constant matrix A is going to be W, and we can write down partial J over partial theta is equal to U transpose, so Y minus X theta transpose multiplied by W plus W transpose multiplied by partial over partial theta of Y minus X theta. Now first, this is going to give us to W, because W is a diagonal matrix. And here, when we differentiate Y with respect to theta, we get zero. And then when we differentiate negative X theta with respect to theta, we get negative X. So what we have here is zero is equal to Y minus X theta all transpose multiplied by 2w. I'm just going to get rid of this 2 for now, so let's just write down w. And this gave us negative x. Let's forget about the negative and write down x. And now let's transpose the whole equation. So we have 0 equals x transpose w transpose multiplied by y minus x theta. Let us introduce this into these two terms. So we get 0 equals x transpose w transpose y minus x transpose w transpose x theta. So how about taking this to the left hand side? So we get x transpose w transpose x theta is equal to x transpose w y. And then we can multiply both sides by x transpose w transpose x inverse from the left so we get theta is equal to x transpose now okay w transpose is just like w because you know w is a diagonal matrix so we can forget about these um i guess i was leaving so we're gonna have x transpose w x inverse multiplied by x transpose w y and this is going to be our solution to weighted least squares